All right, the idea of positive law. So natural law is like from nature it is coming. That's the main whole point. But positive law is different. Positive law says that it's not like from nature, automatically it's happening. No, it is like we have put in some effort, knowingly we have put in some effort and law is human-made law. Man has made this law. So what is it? It includes statutes laid down by legislature. So they are saying it has come itself, but positive law says that no, there is parliament sort of a thing, there is king, queen, someone is there, okay, who is having the authority. All right, so it basically, it includes statutes laid down by legislature or rules and regulations by human institution. And John Austin was the main supporter of positive law. He mainly said that laws are nothing but command of sovereign that is binding on other people. That means in a society, in a country, there would be normal people plus there would be a sovereign. So that sovereign may be like a king or a queen, maybe the president, whatever it is. Right? Someone is like a sovereign person. Someone is like supreme than the rest of the people. And how law has come, this supreme or the sovereign person has commanded other people. Okay, this sovereign person has commanded. Like uh, sorry? Ma'am, like democracy, ma'am. Yeah. If someone is ruling uh, someone. Yes. So that person has said that this is what you need to follow, and common people are following it. So this is nothing but command of the sovereign, which is binding on people. So the enacted laws or rules that we obey come under positive law. Whatever legislations we see today, like if we talk about Indian penal code, if you say murder, murder is a crime, but it's not a crime because we feel that is wrong. It is a crime because it is mentioned, it is written somewhere. Punishment is also provided. This is nothing but positive law. Okay, that the certain thing is done. Yeah. For example, we need to follow the rules which are laid down in Motor Vehicles Act while driving or riding. We follow these rules and regulations because it is binding force or authority. When we are going outside, we wear a helmet, we wear a seatbelt, we follow the traffic rules. Why? Not because we know it is bad. If we are given a chance, we would try to violate the rules, right? If there is no police, no camera, we would try to violate the traffic rules also. But why are we following? We are following only because there is binding force or authority. If we do not follow, we will have to pay the fine. That is the only reason why we are following. This is nothing but positive law. Okay, that rules and regulations are coming from a sovereign person. Okay, and it is backed by law, like it is having like the authority of law. It is approved by law, that person is having authority to give command and normal people are following it. That is how law has derived. It's not because people are so much willing to follow it or something, but because of binding force or authority, we follow it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Next one is individualism. So natural law says naturally it has come. Positive law says, no, it's all because of human effort. Man has made it sovereign, gives command to the normal people and normal people follow because it is having like a binding authority. Mm -hmm.